TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Little warning screen, things of that nature. I don't know what's going to go on. This, this, this is a crazy... This is a crazy type show we about to watch. It's only 20 minutes, but it's crazy. It, it looked crazy. My bad. Um, Twitch.com is where you can catch a live. Usernames at the bottom. And we also got Patreon. We post five days a week. You can go look in the description for any of that. This is Bouncer. For I didn't jump the gun. This is Bouncers. Season 1, Episode 1. These dudes got a TV show. That's crazy. Anyway, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. For decades, nightclub bouncers were the muscle men in black who let their fists do all the talking. I broke more jaws than fucking Valentino broke hats. But times have changed. If someone was to come to me and say, do you supply bouncers? I would say, no. We supply security staff, not bouncers. How lovely, are they? Bouncer or security staff, as we see tonight on the front line of Booze Britain, some things stay the same. Oh, fella, bloody hell! We'd have a, a five stone wet through bloke who wouldn't say boo to a goose when he's stone cold. Alrighty. Right off the bat we're gonna be blurring things out, I see. We didn't seen we didn't seen a lot already. What 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 was the time step on that? Two minutes fifty seconds, huh? We can't even you know what I'm saying? Gold sober, all of a sudden he gets five pints of Stella down so and he can take on the world. It's all these fat bald motherfuckers! Liquid courage. Suspicious and wary, Britain's bouncers normally run from the spotlight. But in this series, they open their doors to us. Tonight, there's chaos at one club when violence erupts. Nobody can see you've got to be bollocks. And the bouncers are kept busy showing customers the door. That's tonight on Bouncers. All right, let me stop you there. Let's 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 hurry up and get to the main. Batley, a down-to-earth town in West Yorkshire, once famous as. Why is everything always happening in Yorkshire? Police interceptors, everything. God, do y'all do y'all sleep? Chill. Yorkshire, I might move there then, if this is what it's like. <laughs> the home of the Batley Variety Club. These days, the building with the bright lights at the edge of town is a nightclub, The Frontier. It's 8pm and the workday begins for a Batley legend. He's Andrew Lawton, nicknamed Bungie. He's head doorman at The Frontier. Bungie's 39 and he's been on the doors for 20 years. Tonight, it's an A-level results party, which means it's going to be a busy one for Bungie, with lots of sloshed students to deal with. You got the results this morning, they'll have been out all... I'm not going to sit here and lie to you like I'm not... I'm not geeked up about the level of possible negativity that this may bring. Because I am. Day. I got two A's and two B's. Four days, this guy, four days. They've been out all day. We're wasted by the time we get to us. Start at one. One o'clock today. Frontier ending off, yeah. We've been on the lash all night, so we're just going to get drunk tonight. Fingers crossed they're going to be well behaved. Um, I don't want to be bloodbath every I tell you. Just don't want it at all. I'm sorry. Bungie's got his eyes peeled tonight for underage drinkers trying to slip past him. Hey girls, hey girls. lady in the white, have you got some ID please? Hello. Sorry, no ID, no ID. Who goes to the club with no ID? Who does, who, like, what did you think was going to happen? The night's barely started and already there's aggro heading their way. Yeah, we know it might get a bit closer so we can actually understand what he's saying. Just step back, mate. That's all I want you to do. It's all these fat bald motherfuckers. They're scared. 
Step off the premises, mate. It's a taste of things to come in Batley. There seems to be something in the air tonight. If you get so me out getting leathered, I'll show my ass to the pool. Yeah, definitely. Somebody is going to give me a right thing to do. Bro, this is... Yeah, why? You are drunk, inebriated. You weren't even trying to get in the club. You look like you were just walking by. Another night, another dollar. Meanwhile, over on Merseyside, Steve's the boss of a security company supplying bouncers to pubs and clubs around the Northwest. He's Steve Gibbo Gibbons. Where did they say this was? Is this Liverpool? <laughs> well, you're not from Liverpool. You you said Merseyside. Wait, go back. Let me hear what he's. He's just the North Side. Steve's the. Another night, another dollar. Meanwhile, over on Merseyside, ah. Steve's the boss of a security. Yeah, I knew that's what I heard. This is getting more and more promising by the second. I ain't even gonna lie. Security company supplying bouncers to pubs and clubs around the Northwest. He's Steve Gibbo Gibbons. He's a security director. Gibbo's 47 and he's been on the doors for 30 years. With his mate Dave, Gibbo's checking his staff are ready for all the A-level students who'll be out on the town tonight. Everything all right, so just checking on the ideas. No hassle now. It's going to be busy tonight. It's only like a one-off tonight with the beating students. Any other, any other, any other Thursday night, it'll be normally like half the amount of people what's out tonight. See you, see you, see you. Working on the doors has been Gibbo's life. Club life is my life, you know what I mean? You know, I, I wake up at like 10 o'clock, me at night. That's my you know, start mode. See you later, John. See you later. It's just in me. It's all I know. And to be honest with you, it's all I'd, li I'd like to have known. Trouble doesn't stand still in a town like Warrington. And tonight's no different. There are more doors than doormen. One of their nightclubs needs a bit of help tonight, so Gibbo and Dave are on their way there to lend it some of their muscle. Now, when you say muscle, do you mean size? Because I don't, I don't see any muscle on Gibbo unless it's under, under several layers of something else. All right. I'm not here to judge. I'm on my journey myself, but... Let's be real. We're a necessary evil. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're there to keep the nice people. Do you see muscle? Oh, safe. Yeah. I don't think so. Keep the All bad right. people out of the venues. It's not a bad job. It's not bad. It's. Salute it's to both businesses, isn't it? So that's well, that we've got to make it, it right. It beats stuck in shells, don't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Gibbo and Dave are heading to Mr. Smith's in Warrington in case it all kicks off later. But there's nothing more rowdy yet than the oldest swinger in town. Partying pensioner Stan the Man. I tell people this every day, all the time. There's no expiration date on clubbing for men. As long as you got money, hey, salute. <laughs> You'd be 95. Step in there, buy a section, throw some ones. It's turnt. <laughs> Mr. Smith's head doorman Keith is noticing a worrying change amongst nightclub punters. Oh, do he run the club? Not coming in. Well, she's not coming in, are you? When I first started, you used to get your, your cheeky punters. I think the, the attitude of punters has changed over the years. Um, I think they're, they're more aggressive now. In Batley, the pubs have only just kicked out, but the frontier crowd is already packed in. Clicking now, we've got sort of. Uh, what year is this? What do you, I see tickets being displayed. What is this? 5,500 come in on a regular service. That's how what we usually get in all night. So we're doing really well. There's been a big change in the world of bouncers. 
Since the start of 2005, all door staff have had to be trained and licensed by the Security Industries Authority. Anyone with a recent serious criminal record won't get a badge to work. It's meant a shortage of bouncers for security bosses like Gibber. It's not like years ago where there was an abundance of doormen where, say for example, at 8 o'clock someone phoned up and they can't make it. I could guarantee 10 years ago I could ring someone within 10 minutes and get them in. Whereas nowadays you can't do that. If you haven't got a badge, you can't wear. Even those who've got badges can still give Gibbo and Dave a headache when they call in sick. The problem is, come three o'clock Saturday afternoon, everything's swinging. All of a sudden you get a text, they never phone you, and you can never phone them back. Can't make it because he's got an abscess on his groin. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the other one about the rabbit dying. Yeah. I said, how fucking long does it take to fucking bury a five pound bastard rabbit? You know. Somebody the said they rabbit passed? Kids are upset. This is like two o'clock in the afternoon. Fucking, it's only a rabbit. At the frontier in Batley, the party's warming up and bouncers like Ian are on red alert for trouble. This has got to be early 2000s, mid-2007, mid 2000. I see a lot of Hollister, whatever. This dude got one of the deepest V-cuts. I'm talking, it's almost to where his rib cage connect. This is crazy. This is crazy work right here. This is Ian Campbell. He's the door supervisor at the frontier. He's 37 and he's been Campbell. He's the door supervisor at the This is Ian Campbell. He's the door supervisor at the frontier. He's 37 and he's been on the doors for 15 years. If someone's walking up to the door and he's blatantly pissed He's going to be barging into people. Before you know it, you've got six or seven people knocking seven bells of shit out of somebody. As the only club in town, the Frontier gives the bouncers a particular problem. The Frontier. It's the last stop at the OK Corral, really. If you don't get into the Frontier, it's either a taxi home or a £25 taxi fare into Leeds. So getting knocked back at the Frontier sometimes it does have an adverse effect on people. Watch me these knockers are going to get right. In the taxi, we ain't going When you work in a big city and you turn guys back, there's another bar 20 yards down the road towards the frontier. That's it. The book stops there. The front got to go in there and hold it together. Here's strict no bottles outside rule doesn't meet with the approval of one young lady. Yeah, mighty negative of her and it was kind of like naggy it was like in the depths of my ear it hurt a little bit the a-level results party surprises everyone by turning nasty it even reminds ian of being in combat in his army days we all thought it was just going to be a, a load of 18 19 year olds <laughs> coming in getting pissed going home and jobs are good didn't work out like that though. For some reason or another, he just went into World War Three. You were like being back in Beirut again. The frontier turns into a battlefield as troublemakers are bounced out of the club, and the police are kept busy with multiple arrests. The people that were arrested, they were the local idiots. I don't think we had any actual bother with students. It's just the local dickheads that get the hell down them and then just just carry on. At Mr. Smith's in Warrington, things are a lot quieter, as Gibbo and Dave arrive to take up their positions on the door. But Gibbo is always on the lookout for trouble. I say to some people, like, here are eyes, because they'll obviously walk and they'll have the head down. And I like to, like, make a bit of eye contact. All right. Okay. No, like, I'm making a judgment to see, like, have they had too much to drink? Are you all right? Are you, you all right? Are they old enough? Are you, you all right? Are they trying to have a quick look in the eyes? You okay? You okay? See there being any illegal substances? You okay? You all right? You all right? You okay? As ever, Gibbo's gentle touch works a charm. 
Gibbo trying to three, see through people's soul and things of that nature. You all right, Tyler? Not tonight. Yeah, you've had a bit too much to drink tonight, okay? You know, you're falling everywhere, your demeanor is all wrong, you know? Okay, I'm falling everywhere. Yeah. Okay, I'm standing on my own two feet. Can't, can't understand you, go on, what? Yeah, Gibbo's not wrong about this one. <laughs> ah, you're done. You're cooked. <laughs> well done. Not tonight, Tyler, okay? <laughs> How lovely, aren't I? It's nice to be nice, isn't it? You know what I mean? What's going on? At the frontier, most people are having a good time, but one guy is caught dancing on the stage. That's a big no-no. So the party's oh, yeah. over for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an immediate no-no. I don't even know why he got up there. Ain't nobody want to see you up there, brother. Go ahead, get up out of here. That gets you kicked out here, too. As he's bundled outside. Sorry, I didn't feel that's come on stage. You've been told now three or four times. I've not been told on that fucking stage. Yeah, You've been told three or four times tonight. Oh, seriously, now, I have not been told. It's not up for discussion, mate. Well, it should be. It's not up for discussion. It's not up for argument either. Yeah, well, it the should be. The self confidence seems to shoot through the roof. You could have a, a five stone wet through bloke who wouldn't say boo to a goose when he's stone cold sober. All of a sudden, he gets five pints. Wouldn't say boo to a goose is crazy. I gotta use that. Bro, who is you talking to? You not even like that. You wouldn't even say boo to a goose. So that's decent. It's a stellar down, so, and he can take on the world. No, it's not all right. It's a bloody monopoly. It's not all right. It's not a monopoly, mate. Who are you to make a decision, though? I work here. Yeah. My discretion is stays in this desert with all these. Well, that's a monopoly, then, isn't it? That's not right. Inside, some are knocking back the alcohol like it's going out of fashion. Many bouncers on the front line think that binge drinking in Britain has got worse. It has gone worse nowadays, probably for the simple reason. Yeah, buddy was on. Because of all the offers they do at bars, you know yourself, you can go into a bar and get two for one, which I think is like, it's a nightmare to the pub and club industry. Gibbo and Keith won't let anyone in. How's it a nightmare? Ain't the point of, it's the... Who they think is over the limit. Yeah, not tonight. Do you want to move in from the door? Thank you. It's been drinking water all night. What? <laughs> <laughs> the water must be laced with vodka. <laughs> Never mind getting in a club, he wouldn't get in a riot. Go back. <laughs> Sonia. He may be drinking water, but he definitely off some sugar of booger. Or Steve of X, or Lee of Ma. <laughs> he got he got one of them in him. Never mind getting in a club. He wouldn't get in a riot. <laughs> <laughs> That's told you. I knew it. <laughs> one customer not getting in tonight. They're all God's children. may have cleaned up their image these days but violent injuries have always been an why what is up with the UK and people pulling out their testicles I don't understand like what what is what is what kind of joy does that bring you oh my god 18 minutes in they doing this type of stuff Occupational hazard. I've had injuries, plenty of injuries throughout the past. I've had uh, your fractured skulls. I've had my eye knocked out, um, glass livers in my eyes. I've been stabbed in the arm. Stitches in the head, nearly lost the testicle. Broken every finger in one hand. I've been attacked with various, various inanimate objects. Anybody can come by and shoot you. I've had guns pulled on me a couple of times. Stab you, will pass you, thrice it in your face. Being switch bladed, uh, being Stanley bladed. I've been hit on the head with a bottle. And I've also had uh, things stuck in me, like kebab sticks. I mean, like, what is the insurance look? Oh, well, NHS free.
Party in Batley, it's getting hot and sweaty, and there's trouble brewing. Coming up, an incident at the frontier... Fr it's A-level results night, and inside the Frontier Club in Batley, the party is in full flow. Outside, the bounce... And I gotta edit this. It's this crazy. I didn't want to come out here and just have to. So it's already in case it all kicks off. But if there's one thing most doormen hate these days, it's actually being called bouncers. I don't like the word bouncer. Everybody used to have a stereotypical picture in the head of a doorman who's a meathead, good for nothing else, got tattoos all over the place and he's thick as pig shit. That ain't the case now. We've got guys who've got degrees, for God's sake. Can I have a cool There's always tomorrow, isn't there? I class myself as an ejection technician or uh, a crowd control engineer. If someone was to come to me and say, do you supply bouncers? I would say, no. We supply security staff, not bouncers. Door staff these days prefer to talk their way out of trouble. But in the past, many bouncers were violent bruisers and proud of it. Years ago, almost every door not on every pub club had a baseball bat. That's unheard of now. You don't have that. The knuckle dusters, you, you don't have that now. The doorman of the day, the, most of them are, are mummy's boys and, and college kids and stuff like that who, who can't fight who, and, and who, who are not fighting men. At the frontier, modern-day doorman G recognises the violent dangers he and his workmates face on a night like tonight. Worst thing about the job, knowing that I could be smashed over the head by a glass or a bottle and die, really. Whereas six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, people were willing to have a dust up and leave it at that. Now it's some little chav with no morals, pick up a bottle, 30, 30 seconds later, I'm dead. Every time you put this tie on, you've got a chance of visiting the police station, visiting the accident and emergency, or visiting the morgue. This is very unattractive of her. I'm not even gonna lie. As the temperature rises at the frontier, Ian admits he actually likes it hot. I do like the adrenaline rush every now and again. It keeps you going. It keeps you on your toes. Pretty funny, mate. I mean, I forgot this is called the frontier. This looked like it was bussing back in the day. This, this looked kind of lit. I ain't even gonna hold you. Move. Now, I remember I walked into a club and I was completely sober. The bouncer stopped me and was like, "Not tonight." I was, "What you mean?" <laughs> I was, I was. He was like, "Yeah, you're too drunk." I was like, "I don't drink. I'm 100% completely sober. No cap. I was really sober. I was about to get in there and turn up, but I personally think he ain't just he he just ain't like me for reasons that I will not." say on here but and he ain't like me you can guess now. there's plenty to keep them on their toes as more people are shown the door the A-level night has been a nightmare so far for Bungie, and it's not over yet. Rather large incident earlier on, a um, lot of lads scuffling, fighting, a lot of lads arrested across the road. That's why we've got police presence, and uh, we'll just get them on. And uh, you know, here we've got some coming out now. Come on, you can swatch out, fella. Come on, fella, bloody hell. Fuck's sake. It doesn't matter. They can't hear him. I know, I'm trying to smack your lunch man, smack your mouth. Whoa. The bouncers were well out of order. They knew he were deaf, and they all just ran at him. He oh, he's deaf? He can't even hit. Whoa. I hear you, he's deaf. Okay, he's deaf. But does that still give him the right to carry on? Paul Gash. She shaved for follow. 
Bungie prides himself on being able to restrain difficult customers and he's going to have to put his training into effect tonight. As he come through, it was just like a wave. People being knocked out of the way. And he headbutted the glass door. And he grabbed me bollocks and starts squeezing and turning me bollocks. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! So I've had to stop him. He got his 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 manhood, and oh my god, he can't even hear you telling him get off him. People will not go unconscious. They will let go before they get to that point, which he did. He was still like, oh, and it was like, fucking hell, I don't like this. And he let go of his hand to get put, to grab his my hand away from his throat. And then I let go of it. <laughs> Took two of us to restrain him. Lynn's like 17 stone, I'm 23 stone. That kid was chucking 40 stone up and down and without us being able to control him properly. school tactic he got that knee on that cranium but he got in the bag if you fucking tell his own right Being able to handle yourself physically is probably the hardest part of the job. We're trained to do it, and it's just, you know, last resort. Bro, look like Luka Dantich. So. Eventually, the police come and take over. The old school bouncers would have thought nothing of using extreme violence. Oh, I found myself in any situation where somebody's grabbed hold of my balls, as happened now, I was nicked twice about biting their face off. I treat violence with violence. I will ten pin bowl people out the club. And when I say ten pin bowl, I mean use the fingers in the eyes to disorientate them. And I've never ever been one to shy away from that. If they know you're going to use physical force, and they know you, you can use it, they'll think twice and just knock them out. I broke more jaws than fucking Valentino broke hearts. <laughs> Back at Mr. Smith's in Warrington, it's chucking out time, and Gibbo's pleased it's been a quiet night for him. Everything's been quiet, and that's the same way we've gone home. Clean shirt, done. Come on, folks, down over your side, please. In Batley, after their worst night in years, the bouncers are relieved the party's finally over. Rock right there. Last hour. Um, we don't ever have bubble like this. Ever. I need a beer. For a night like tonight, I could just sit down and have a beer, but uh, I don't think bad will open up tonight. So uh, I'll have to go home and have a glass of pop out of the fridge. Next time on Bouncers, it's hat stop. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is a wild show. I'm gone.